Wow. Okay, so what's up guys? My name is Phil Bailey. I'm an architect major at Academy Wright University and this is a live broadcast. We're gonna be showing you how to do Google Docs for a collaboration. You've been seeing all the commercials and all the ads. Well, I wanna basically just see if it really is like that. And I've used it before. Um, but let's go ahead and do a screen share. Uh, before I do that, I want to shout out to my partners at WD Apparel for providing me with uh, the shirt representing the city of Portland. So WD Apparel, thank y'all. And let's get right to this uh, Google Doc. And I'm currently only joined with my friend, one friend, but I put out an invitation to over 400 people, probably like 800 people realistically. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. And like my heart beating so freaking fast. I'm like, oh my god, adrenaline. I want to make a good video. So let's see what happens. And nonetheless, we're just going to show the basic abilities with, um, you know, just two people. So I see that the screen share is working. That's awesome. Okay. So basically, Google Docs will allow us to work on projects and uh, pages and, um, you know, all in real time. I don't know where she is. She's not saying anything yet. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to do some basic editing. And actually, everything that I'm doing is in real time, and everything that uh, she will write is in real time. And... Uh, I'm just going to change the text color to something cool. I don't know if that's cool enough. Nope, not cool enough. But yeah, like you can be working on an essay. Um, and we have a lot of students in our community at Academy of Art that uh, we work on projects all the time. And sometimes we actually need people to proof edit our work. We could literally have a single document and we can invite our entire you know, Academy of Art community, which is about 83 plus people. And we could just have little paragraphs and each individual person can label a paragraph and put their name there and put maybe some text that they want to have edited. And we could literally just all day long, you know, just open up this like public uh, or kind of private uh, circle of editing. And it's really fun. You can use it as a chat program you can, like, we, that's what we've been doing for the last couple of uh, minutes, was just using as a chat program. So, uh, oops. Control Z. Thank God for uh, shortcuts. Definitely someone else. I don't know where I don't know where my friend is. Oh wait, 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 wait. She must have been joking.
So what I'm about to do right now is actually start my Camtasia and um, record the desktop. Actually, I come, I'm kind of slacking on that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Ouch. Video codec open failed. Why would you fail, Camtasia? I don't understand. Okay, let's see. So like I said, this is literally just a live demonstration of using Google Drive, Google Docs in real time to, um, you know, to edit. And uh, we've got two viewers right now. We are live right now. We are editing Google Docs in real time. And uh, thank you guys for checking us out. Hopefully more people will join this uh, edit from our, our community here. Whoop whoop. back to our Facebook community and see if there's anyone who um, wants to uh, join us. Oh, I think I think our good friend Leilani has replied to I don't know. I think she's going to. Uh, she's probably going to come on, and if she does, I'm going to freak out and be like, "Oh my God, I love it!" Yeah, one of these days, she says she would, but I don't have an invite. What do you mean you don't have an invite? I made it public. Hold on. She'll come in. Uh, let's see here. So all we have to do to add people is go to share and there we go. I added Leilani and she can um, edit. 
So she's got an invite, and we should see her come in. And I don't even know how long this video is going to go on for. I don't think we're going to make this video entirely too long. Uh, we really just wanted to show some of the capabilities. I wanted to show multiple people. <laughs> I wanted to show um, I wanted to show multiple people in this environment and uh, collaborating just to kind of inspire what we can possibly do. And I, this is a thing, like this is a, a direct message to my AAU Who community is this is exactly why we want people to come over to the Google Plus side of things and not just stay in Facebook or on like Twitter because you really can't do these things on Facebook. I mean, this is a, a direct competitor with Microsoft. I mean, I'm talking Microsoft Word, SkyDrive. This is by far the best editing platform that I've seen so far for uh, in terms of like cloud editing because you know everything is cloud now nowadays everything is like cloud based I can't uh, you can't hear me I should do do and then da, 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 da. so I added Leilani let's make sure she knows she is invited so Oh, so she says, how do I think I can use this in my field? Well, She says um, she's not getting the invite, but um, I'm going to go to the public stream and see. Um, we want to get Leilani up here. Oh, and by the way, um, I was trying to change the font to a different color, but all the colors were kind of ugly. Oh my gosh. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about Google Web Fonts. Now, a lot of programmers out there, um, they're used to doing Photoshop with text in order to get really fancy text. Well, we have access to Google Web Fonts, which is over... Um, a couple of hundred, oh wow, good job. So she just added in there an image, <laughs> uses of Google, when you're too lazy to type in .com, find porn, find useful information. 
Whoops. Ouch. I think I just messed up. Reload. Yeah, I'm not sure quite what happened right there, but we're back on. Okay, yeah, so what I was saying was uh, Google Web Fonts allows you to utilize hundreds of web fonts that are all open source. You can download them to your computer. You can, um, you can add it to your website and just use it. Um, and they are actually really cool. And that's just one of the benefits of using Google Fonts on your um, like on a website, on a computer, in your document, graphic design, you do shirts and stuff like that. I don't have any notifications. Hmm. One sec. All right, so let me try this again. I'm going to, I'm going to copy the link here, and I'm going to go to Google. Go back to our window here. And if you look up here in the upper right, there she is. So as you see, we now have two people editing with me in real time, which makes a total of three people editing in real time. And So I'm going to go over to my Evernote account and I'm going to copy and paste this intro to see if, um, you know, see what they think about it. And, you know, just for, um, I guess, academic purposes, it's not a form of cheating as all these words are my own and this is kind of an edit. and. Uh, I believe that's totally legit because I've seen a lot of people looking for editors for their, you know, final projects and stuff like that. Um, So I'm just kind of um, checking out what they're doing, and it shows who's typing right now. Obviously, uh, Leilani says, my goal are. I, I say no. I say is. <laughs> Goals are. OK, I see what she's saying. And this is cool, because you could be working on a business document, and you could have a whole team of you know, 10, 15, 20, I don't know if there's an unlimited amount of people who can actually edit in real time. That's why I sent out this grand invitation to see who would actually uh, come on. But, um, you know, for now, I mean, it's really powerful with even just us three. And this is just one paragraph. Imagine if you had a whole research paper and you could have a whole community of people um, working on editing documents. And it doesn't have to be as real time as this. 
this is just to show what happens in real time when you see, you know, uh, Leilani's in one color and Gabby's in another color. And to them, I guess I would be in a different color as well. But we just want to show exactly what it looks like when you have real time collaboration as the commercials would advertise it to be. So. You know, this is this is just pretty awesome, and so I'm doing some stuff here. Um, they've got some stuff going on. Google uh, Google Docs recognizes keyboard shortcuts like Control B for bold and italics. And the only thing I think Google Docs is really missing from the whole kit and caboodle is uh, probably the ability to add columns directly into the document, like you can do in Microsoft. Other than that, I mean, Google has a similar layout as uh, what is that? Open Office, which is a, an open source um, tool to use. I'm going to check and see how many viewers or see what's going on in the social world real quick. We've got two viewers still. Um, again, shout out to all those who are out there watching live. This will be uh, put on my YouTube channel. So. The current link that you're using to view this video is going to end up being the link of the the permanent video as it's going to live on my channel. So if you happen to miss anything, you can actually see the whole process come together. Uh, we've already seen images in here. We've seen two people. Uh, I see a highlighted red sacred geometry, and I wonder if that means that. Uh, Maybe are they saying should I capitalize it or are they saying it should be capital? Not quite sure what they uh, what they highlighted it for. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to see their different opinions. And you know, like whether or not I'm going to use this as part of my final. I mean, I like the. The wording that I used, because I, I like to do complex sentences with you know multiple subjects or the kind of I don't know sandwich thing where you've got these like you know this is that and this is the description of that and therefore this is my final thought you know all in the same sentence. So uh, I was playing with the wording because it's really hard to I think the hardest thing about being an artist. And going to Academy of Art is that you don't really know what the professors want from you, but once they see your serious effort, they can make better critiques. So uh, the more you actually play, um, it looks like there's some kind of note. Where is her note at? And that's cool too because there's a, a way to have notes and it says other word. And I wonder if she's maybe asking in a, another word for perfect, more perfect than I imagine. Um, I guess Leilani's going to make her own copy, it looks like, possibly. Uh, but what I was kind of saying though is that, you know, being an artist and, and going to Academy of Art. It's, it's really, it's really a um, a very challenging school. Sometimes it's hard to understand where the professors are coming from. Uh, the critiques are not always nice because they're not intended to be nice. They're actually intended to make you a stronger artist. So it helps us to build a thicker skin and to not be sensitive to one particular feeling. They want us to basically understand why we receive grades we receive. And so part of this project, part of the grading of this project is to, you know, really write it well and to not only sell my vision and my concept, but it's like how do you sell a concept that uh, is so fluid, has so many different directions it could go. You know, it's like what's your concept? And I'm like, well my concept was originally just you know, to explore sacred geometry with multiple uh, architectural elements of a as of a family plan, right? So, 
I wanted to kind of use the proper words like sacred geometry and uh, uh, where, what was the other words I was thinking about? I said more sacred plethora of ratios. The word ratio is a very um, important word. Highly meditative and the project more meaningful and potentially better than I better than I imagine. I'm not sure how strong that is though. I gotta read the whole thing. Having learned about the plethora having having learned about the plethora of sacred ratios actually. Oops. The plethora of sacred ratios and then parentheses other than the infamous golden spiral. So if I were to not use the parentheses, it would say, having learned about the plethora of sacred ratios, there would be a comma there. There were many op Now, see, that doesn't make any sense then because I need, because there's a, there's a pause in there. If the, the parentheses weren't there, it reads weird now. Plethora of sacred ratios. There were many options and directions to go, which made this journey highly meditative and the project more meaningful and potentially better. Hmm. Meditative and the project more more meaningful than I imagined. Oh wait, you know, I wanted to say something that, that made it sound perfect. I wanted to like have something that said, you know, because sacred geometry is a way where I guess artists can make work more perfect because it has sacred something something you know uh, like to, you look at the Mona Lisa you look at like the, the Parthenon you look at these different cathedrals and all the sacred architecture and there's something that you just sit there and kind of are at awe because it's just perfect. The ratios, the proportion, everything just looks like, wow, there could have been no better way to do that. And so I think that part of my study of sacred geometry is that when you actually re re when you actually come to an end result, you are ending up with something that's more perfect or humanly perfect. But the funny thing about the word humanly perfect is that Sacred geometry has been around since before humans because the planet and the sun have sacred proportions. So they say often that sacred geometry is like the whole, you know, footprint of like life, right? So for me to just say humanly perfect or near perfect or whatever, some people might think that that's a, saying a bit too much. And I think that's where it's all subjective because maybe to me this project is that important. You know what I mean? It, it is that of that importance. I mean, this, after all, is a family house which celebrates tradition and life. So uh, it's interesting to see where this paragraph is going with, uh, you know, three minds working on it. Um, so, which is really cool. So we're probably going to um, cut this video a bit short and I see that they're just working off of the one paragraph which is kinda like they're just going at it they're just like no I said this and that this is option you know what I mean it just you can do all kinds of stuff and it's awesome I like it so it says making the property more hallowed I don't know what that means so I'm gonna use Google's um, synonym thing which I don't actually see it in the menu. So what if we did tools? No, not translate the document. Let's do uh, hmm. word count research. Ah, this is a cool tab. I learned about this before. So this is how maybe she came up with the word. Ah, look at you. Yeah, so hallowed means honor as holy, make holy. So if I say make the property a more holy monumental place, I'm not so sure if holy is kind of the right word. It says make holy, um, consecrate. So sacred, holy, sanctified. Because the whole thing is 
like sacred geometry, I used to think it meant like, you know, sacred or holy, like more spiritual, but the Apple logo is more sacred. It's designed with sacred geometry. The Volkswagen Beetle is designed with sacred geometry. And therefore, um, does that mean that the Volkswagen Beetle is a sacred car? Sacred little bug of a car? Does it mean that the Apple logo is more sacred of a laptop? Is it a more holy laptop? No. But in art history, the word sacred was used to relate spirituality with it. And that's why I said meditative, because people relate meditative also to spirituality. Um, so it's really, it's really cool. It shows the orientation of where the word came from, I believe. Or, yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like here on the right-hand side. And we've got images. We have um, web address links. This is a complete research toolbar. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we've got our research bar. We've got uh, using images and let's see what else here. My goals are to explore sacred geometry with existing architectural plans of a family property to determine what sacred relations I could find or create. But there's a period there. So I'm going to highlight that because I think that there should be a comma because if you just end it like that, then the new sentence becomes making the property more hollowed, monumental, making the property a more hollow, hollowed, monumental place to celebrate life and tradition, period. That, that's just like, uh, it's like a subject or it, it, it's kind of like a sentence with like no real like direction, I guess. Uh, so that's kind of, it just looks kind of weird. And another thing about Google Docs is, like I said, I could invite as many people as I want to this document via Google+. That's why it's important for people to be on Google+, and to have circles of friends or business partners, colleagues, whatever you want to call it, because you might have a need for help on something like this one day, and you want to be able to know that you can call on people and say, hey, you know, I invited you to a Google Doc. We have some time, you know, check it out. I've got a couple other editors looking at it. You can literally have, you know, let's say you got five editors. You can have five different versions of what your paper could be or what sentences could be or what possible grammatical, grammatical errors could one individual person find over the next. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the um, original. And I can compare uh, my original from what was worked on. And then from there, I'll pretty much read over, uh, you know, the different phases of this paragraph and think about, does it sound too much? You know, does it really make any sense? And um, again, this is really just demonstration. I really didn't intend for them to work on this like hardcore, but I guess they really want to show the the power of the you know our intent for this video. So I mean, it's pretty cool. I think we've got um, we've got a lot established there, and I'm so freaking tired. I mean, it's finals and. Everybody's doing their thing. A lot of people are busy. A lot of people are like hella stressed out. I'm, I'm a little stressed out too. So it even emails you when you have um, comments. It looks like we have two other people joining this uh, chat, which would be super duper epic. So let's um.
let's 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 see if they will introduce themselves. see anything yet and it says we've got anonymous bat and anonymous other so if they were to write something then we will see them typing and then there will be like five cursors on the screen so that's pretty interesting and I really I wish I could like research the amount of maximum people that could be on a dock, but to be honest, I mean, you can have 15,000 people in a Google circle, so, if, you know, if I would have shared this to 15,000 people, does that mean that 15,000 people can, you know, work on and edit it? I guess uh, we'll have to do that one of these days to see what happens. Still nothing. Um, let's see. Trying to think if there's any other topics that I can cover while we're in uh, Google Docs still. Huh. Let's, oh wait, I was the one that said that. That's my sentence. And the best part about this, as I said, is everything is pretty much in real time. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, we've covered, we've got research bars, we've got, you can add images. You have lots of web fonts. And the two actually left the document. So maybe they were just checking out to see what it was all about. But that's what it's there for. It's where it's open pretty much anybody I invited. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is literally just going to be a... I mean, the good thing about YouTube and Google Plus is that if you have a Google Plus account and you have YouTube, you can do a live broadcast, which means you can have your own show. You can broadcast live to the world and just your own your own message, your own whatever you want. And, um, you know, that that's a very powerful thing that not even last year, we didn't even have this last year. This is like literally this year, you know, well, 2012 and 2013. So um, it's just uh, such an amazing thing that we have these kind of tools now to make our productivity more efficient. And, um, you know, all that good stuff. I wish there was actually more people on audio. You know what? Um, let me go ahead and invite Leilani via audio, and we'll just get her. Um, we'll just get her audio. There we go. So Leilani should pop in here and be able to. Um, at least speak with us a little bit. And maybe in this video we'll talk mostly about the whole Google system and um, you know finding finding your you know whoever's in your niche like uh, you know Leilani's a fashion major and uh, you know Gabby's doing 
3D game design and stuff like that. I'm doing architectural stuff. Let's, okay, so wait a second, where's Leilani at? Leilani, do you have audio? Hey, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to the broadcast and to the demo. Hey, hey, hey. What's up with you? What are you, what are you mm. thinking of this uh, demo so far? Mm, I think it's pretty cool. I think it would be um, really helpful to use, like, to have stuff proofread and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Mm hmm. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, so basically, um, we had a really cool chat earlier today, and then we was like, you know what? I She mentioned that she was an editor, Gabby did, and I was like, oh, cool. Well, I would love to get an opinion about my piece. And she's like, cool. And I was like, ooh, we could do Google Docs. You know how we have that... Um, Oops. Uh, I just got lost for a second. My, I'm, I must be like, my brain is expiring for the night. Um, but no, but what I was saying was like we were just like talking was like, ooh, you know, we could record a. You know, we could like do like a screenshot and show like editing on Google Docs, and I was like, "Ooh, well, I got a quad core and I got this and that." I'm like, "We could just broadcast it and just see, you know, if anybody else is going to join it, um, and just you know see what it's all about." You still there? Line. Yeah, hello? Yeah. Is there a delay or did I just... It's doing audio? something weird. It's like playing the conversation 30 seconds back after a while. So you like hear me talk and then it like plays it back? I heard, oh, I heard, are, you watching yeah. me? are you watching me on YouTube too though? Yeah. That's why. You're probably hearing audio from YouTube and the Hangout. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. so, so Gabby just came back in. She was actually stepped out for a second, but I just saw her join back in. That's what I really like about it because uh, once, you, once you start having people, like if you're just there by yourself and somebody, you, you know that somebody else is editing it, It'll show you the icon of whoever will join the document, um, and you, I wonder, like, if they had a Google, like SketchUp, for example, if you could do Google SketchUp, like you can do Google Docs, that would be like, 
some crazy stuff. And I know AutoCAD has things where the way that I design with like little external references, I can work in multiple files at once and update the files. That's kind of the same thing, but it's not quite real time. So if they did that for like Google SketchUp or something, that would be crazy. Or if they made the Google Maps more real time, like this is, that would be crazy too. And I'm sure it will eventually. She's all getting all like festive with it. That's awesome. Um, I don't even know how long we've been broadcasting for, but quite frankly, it doesn't really matter because this is just going to go on my channel and people can just skim through and see what it's all about. The first few minutes was cool. Um, once you guys really got into it, that was crazy. So what I might do is I might download the video from the YouTube server and I might just edit it inside of like uh, Adobe Creative Suite, uh, like like uh, Premiere. That way I can actually just use the part where you guys were the most active in editing that main paragraph. And then that way uh, I can just take the best part of it so people won't be bored by watching the whole thing because I don't always do videos for people to be entertained the whole time. Sometimes I just do it because video needs to be done and I can always chop and use parts of a video. You know what I mean? Um, in like future videos. So it's all quiet. What are you up to? Where are you doing homework? Mm -mm. I was taking a break before um, heading back down to the studio. What? Oh, wow. So you're going to be there like early, early in the morning and just be there all day? Yeah, because they close at 10 until 6 on Saturday. Oh. Hmm. I just had some more of that smoothie. And uh, so good. So good. Blueberries, mm. strawberries, and pineapple. That's like the best combination ever. No, I, I got some I got some oh, other well, combinations I, for I, you I to mean, try. Okay. Correction. I mean like the best one we've had in this household. Mm. You know, you've been in the game for a while. We just started this whole journey, so uh I need to find some vegetable blends that are tasty too. I haven't experimented much with vegetables. Oh yeah? Yeah. It seems like a lot of vegetable mixes get nasty. But if you need you them add, though. If you They're just add, difficult but you need them. Yeah. I mean yeah, that's why like okay, I want to do things like doing uh like green stuff but like other like like some green stuff that's not too different in taste or whatever and then like maybe a bunch of fruit to balance it out. You gotta pick the right fruit. Uh, I heard apple works really good with greens, with like vegetables, cause it's like a sweet taste, but it's not. Bananas do not work. I'm just letting you know that from right now. Bananas do not work. No, bananas freaking suck. With uh, vegetable mixes. Okay. Yeah, bananas pretty much suck. Um, hey, Gabby, if you can hear me, holla. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to figure out better colors from that YouTube part. But remember how I was saying that we have an AMA like day of just all of our directors and stuff would go onto a dock and we would just start... Uh, Oh, wow. That's cool. Who made it all colorful? Did Gabby do that or did you do that? Gabby did. Oh. Abdu says, yo, yo, yo. I gotta say what's up to him. Or maybe maybe if you have the time to do it, you can just tell him to, to join the, uh, the Google Doc and tell him I don't to I don't know how to. Oh, well, oh, never mind. Hold on. Somebody's in here. So we've got another anonymous or G something. Um. 
So yeah, but one of these days, I'm probably going to record a much shorter video, and maybe we can just plan it out, and we'll just be like, you know what, let's just make a freaking public document, but that gets pretty risky from time to time, uh, public documents, because you know, you get sometimes weird people, they're just like, uh, donuts, that's like, okay, but I think it'd be cool to uh, have that going on. Greeting says Earthling. Oh, not Earthling, sorry. Greetings. I don't know why I was thinking Earthling. That's so funny. I'm tired. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Earthlings. <laughs> uh. Let's do it. So how how has your week been? Has it been like up? Oh, somebody's gonna type. Oh lord, look at that! There we go. It's awesome. Um, What? Uh, is this a um, gym? I don't know. <laughs> is this A B? Possibly. So um. But like we were saying, though, you know, there's like so many things you could do with this. I mean, literally, like, sky's the limit. And I'm going to copy the edit. I'm going to put it in Evernote. And then um, I'm going to, like, input. And the cool thing about the copying it from Google Docs is every single thing that you guys highlighted color-wise shows up in Evernote too. So, um, hey, AB. It's just edits going on all over the place. You said epics? Edits. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. So well, who's the other person then? Mm -hmm. Maybe the other person is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you too stupid. There are different color cursors, and it says your name, animal, when you type. Name slash animal? Yeah, because if you're anonymous, like, if you, um, I think if, maybe if you're, oh, okay. whatever, it's just going to show up as something else, but, like, What color am I? You, to me, are orange. I want to be purple. So AB is the anonymous raccoon? <laughs> is, that, is that what we're doing here? <laughs> anonymous raccoon AB? Actually, I'm Jesus, LOL, AB is Jesus. Jesus is AB. That's like, a, that's like an equation. That's like, uh, that's like, uh, wow, that's, that's like an equation right there.
Um, let's try to invite him directly. And again, for those of you who haven't seen the video up until this part, um, that's one of the benefits of Google Plus is being able to um, add people that are in your circles to documents like this. So take it off the screen share real quick. Again, shout out to WD Apparel for the apparel uh, guys in Portland. Watch out, summer 2013. 14. Uh, Modern Masterpiece is working on a design for WD Apparel. I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to do something sacred with it. It's going to be like sacred design. So, Abduce, where are you at? Here we go. Say so what? Yeah. Sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic. Really? You guys muted me? Hello? Let me see if I can. Oh, sorry. Go back into the documents. This is probably going to be like a one hour video on my YouTube. Just if anybody's interested in like scrolling through the video to see what it's all about. So are you going to, oh yeah, so are you going to be going to bed anytime soon? Um, I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to try to close my eyes for an hour. Try. Oh yeah. Oh uh, wait. So, it looks like, oh, you know why, um, the, He's like, no, yeah, you're a wombat now. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 it says AB. There you go. Wow. So he hit me a message. I'm in the dock, and it shows the same chat as you would when you... Oh, dude. That was pretty badass. Whoever did that was a genius. Gabby figured it out. You are on top of it, you little freaking geek. I freaking love you, geek people. So. Joining the chat thingy too. Yes, we can hear you. I can't. Oh, thanks for cleaning the screen, guys. Where do you find the chat thingy? What do you mean? Where do you find the chat thing, Leilani? It's inside of the. It's inside of the thing. So Indy Roth made a comment on the doc video. So let's see what the comment is real quick. Um, and let me not go into my email. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> Gusta Mia Ora. I'm, I'm going to use Google Translate for that. 
that says Gusta. This is going to be cool. Watch this. So I'm going to go to uh, oh wait, wait, uh, let's do com because I want the audio. So we're going to detect the language. Oh dude, wait, and we want to convert it to English. Ah. Uh, Greeting, greetings times Aurora. Yay, thank you, greetings. Let's see what it says. That sounds uh, kind of, oh, that's German? All right. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So I'm going to reply if it will let me. Let's see, videos in this email. Um, oh wait, to see all comments, click here. I want to let me comment on my own video. Click to leave a comment. That's what I want to do. Let me click at. Oh well, I will uh, greet that person some other time when the thing will let me do its thing. Alrighty, this is getting to be a long video, so I guess, let's see, let's see, happening in the chat. Do, 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 do. Says, but if you act now, you can get the second hook for free with the dragon. Ah, uh, that's funny. I also click the little chat box images. That's pretty funny. You never saw the commercial, but okay. Whoa, uh, whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up, screw you up, do you up. Oh, it was a good commercial. So check it out. Check it out. <laughs> so, for those of you who are just joining us, we are actually doing a live Google Docs collaboration. We're just having some fun now. I did some uh, paper editing thingies stuff, and now we're just going to have some fun and just show you guys with uh, four people editing on the same doc. And uh, this is definitely a long video, but uh, we're going to chop this up and do it again. I didn't like that intro. I'm going to do that again. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Phil Bailey, architect major at Academy Art University, entrepreneur. And I'm here with my good friend, Leilani. Say what's up, Leilani. Hey, what's good? And we are just showing you guys how to use Google Docs as kind of a collaborative tool and do kind of like the uh, the thing like they do in the commercial. Let's just go ahead and do some cool stuff here real quick. Let's do some stuff.
flip out in my cool it's a thing thing. <laughs> hey, did you like kick me out of the editing thing? No. I can't do anything. I can't edit anymore. Oh wait. Never seen a big chocolate monkey Mughal in America on the west side. Never seen a big computer sandwich monkey moogle in America on the west side on the 4th of July <laughs> in August. I pity the frog. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's hilarious. I pity the frog. In the hole. In the hole in the bottom of the sea.
<laughs> you people like big text. <laughs> Nine bottles of absinthe ever clear. Not even looks like we drank them all. Did it freeze for you guys, or is it like, are we overloading the dock possibly? Leilani, can you hear me? Leilani? Yeah. I said, um, did we overload the dock? Did it freeze just then for you, or was that just me? Uh, I guess it was you. Okay. Sponge boob. Bob. Sponge boobs are. <laughs> Sponge boobs is. Patrick, no. Pat, pack, packlets.
I actually need to Evernote this one up here. Oh, I need to I need to put it back on screen share. That kind of sucks that uh I didn't realize that I wasn't screen sharing that uh particular part. Where the hell's yeah. the window? How come you didn't tell me, Leilani? <laughs> I didn't realize it. I was busy looking at this thingy, Bobby. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, I'm just, you know, having some fun and just, you know. Oh, we've got four viewers. Say what's up to the viewers, Leilani. What's up to the viewers? It's probably just like all us, but maybe it's not. Oh yeah, so what I was doing was, um, I, I don't think it likes me to broadcast and like do too much multitasking right now. One some as big as your head. Some bobs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Who's green? If I... Butts, homework, Apple, <laughs> iPad, iPod, iMac, required drawings, C minus in one of my classes, only one, holy shit, insert foul language. Hmm. Put a quarter in the damn jar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all are killing me off. Oops. Mustache, cash dash. Say that ten times fast. Fast. You guys really like big words. Why did they keep doing that? <laughs> <Abby>. <laughs> like, 
huge words. Sploosh, sploosh. Parkax, Orphesis, sploosh, sploosh. <laughs> Oh, it's all God. So, have you learned anything from this uh, this extensive demonstration, Leilani? Can you hear me? Leilani? Hello. Who the hell is the big... This has got to is that AB with big text? Next wars. Boom. Fire. AB. Enjoy, Phil. What? I learned I can edit people. Like a golden god. I am a golden god. Let's research a uh, golden god. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Damn, is it really like 1 a.m. in the morning? That was crazy. I had to fight like a joke. Oh, this guy's a golden god right here. Wait. I want to put this golden gods in there. Yes. That's what you want to do. You put some in the video. I got to get used to using this tablet. I want to take these. Wait, I want to move it. Hey, somebody fix the image of the golden gods. I want to make it like aligned. Some wait, fix position. Ah, ah, here we go. Damn it! Reload Google Docs. Maybe we crashed it just a little bit. Did we just, did, I, did somebody just wipe out my, 
I don't like the font anymore. That font looks uh, looks quite weird. Boom! The in clean slate. Uh, let's do normal. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not winning. Come on. You freaking wombat. Stop it. Stop it, you wombat. A wet porno with cartoon characters. Obviously, people out there get the point that you can do lots of stuff with Google Docs and just four people. It's actually quite amazing. I'm going to in the broadcast and um, I'm just going to put it on YouTube um, so everyone say see ya see ya see ya and My type speed is superior. My cats are pissed. Trying to get me off the computer. Trying to get me off the Pepsi this whole time. <laughs> AB, if you're listening out there, I'll see you, my guy. And I guess we'll still type in here if you guys want to, but I'm just going to end the broadcast so that way uh, people will get an idea of what's crack a lack. And I want to see what this video looks like on once it gets to my channel. So, wait, how do I take screenshot? Oh, there we go. Hey, alrighty. So, this is Phil Bailey. It's been a really, really long, sometimes boring, sometimes fun, crazy, random, weird. Uh, talk and uh, until next time uh, I will make an actual better video um, taking the best parts of this long thing whatever you want to call it um, and I will be yeah showing you the real how to collaborate with Google which we did earlier with my SASA cheers see you guys next time and I'm Windows 8 is screwing my screen up oh, there we go I'm back okay all right see you guys peace Leilani, you still there? Hello, hello, Leilani. Okay, well, uh, we can't hear her yet now, so.